Hello and welcome back once again to my channel, the place where I view all my new pickups and then talk about all things sneakers and streetwear, sometimes even menswear. But today I'm going to continue the 2023 updated silhouette collections. So, um, had a thought about the, the silhouette to choose, didn't have a huge amount of time, so I chose one of the smaller ones of my big collections. Um, and today we're going to do the Air Jordan 4s. Before we get into that, fit check of the day up here. Um, so today I have on the Maroon Aim, Aim Leon Door times New Balance 550s. Not a huge New Balance guy, but I do love a 550. Um, and I do want to pick up a few more of the ALDs. Um, then I have on, again, the Fiji THRT Denim um, 021. Um, quality vibes tee that I just copped. It's a few videos ago, I'll put the link up here. Um, and then this uh, Sneaker Politics Olive Fitted um, with this, um, they went for an interesting combination of colors. It's like a, a kind of like a lemon, lemon yellow kind of under brim. Cool, so let's get into it without any further ado. So I have all of my fours down here. I've actually rearranged my MX ones now so they're where the fours used to be. Might just put the fours above. Um, cool, I'm going to again try and get into them in no specific order, um, but I will go through the boxes as well. So this is the, uh, the kind of like OG box, but the better one, the slightly bigger one. So the, they, they made these boxes for the OG remasters that they're doing. Um, slightly bigger and slightly tougher card. It's the kind of thing that you only really notice if you're a nerd like me. But we'll get into it. Actually, I'll do the sizing. I think all near all of my Jordan 4s are 12, but I'll do sizing anyway. This is a size 12. This is the Air Jordan 4 white, fire red, black, tech gray. And this is the 2020 fire red Jordan 4 with the Nike Air on the bootay. Um, yeah, an amazing pair. Waited ages for them. It was the only, for a while there, it was the only OG I didn't own. I was not a huge fan of the 2012 pair. I'm actually not a fan of any of the Jordan 4 OGs that they retroed in 2020, in 2012 even. Um, so, yeah, just never really pulled the trigger on those. Jump right forward to a more recent pair. So this is the new box that JB have started doing for the 4s where they introduce the flip lid, like they've done with the threes, and then they put the accent colors on it again, like they've done with the threes. So you can tell this is gonna be like a black and white, and maybe with a little bit of gray kind of colorway. And this is the military black. So a huge drop from a year or so ago. I think this is 2022. Um, and yeah, it's like the military blue, but with black hits instead of the blue ones. Um, yeah, great shoe. Um, resale's pretty good. I think I've ended up with, two, I think I've got two pairs of them. So I've got a spare pair sat there ready to trade for something. So I just I just do not do double ups to, to wear. I think it's stupid, it's a waste of time. Okay, so the special edition box, you can tell Jordan brands really not been specifically like consistent with their Jordan 4 boxes. But here you have the special lid colored one that they did a bit of in 2020 and I think a bit of in 2021. This and the UNC are the two that I can think of in particular before they moved from the OG box to this box and then to that flip lid. It gets really complex being a Jordan fan. Actually, sorry, I totally forgot to read out. Um, Air Jordan 4, white, black, neutral, gray, 12. This is Air Jordan 4 Retro Tall Yellow Dark Blue Gray. Dark Blue Gray is a, is a funky color. Air Jordan 4 Lightning. The retro, so this is LS, as you can tell, the lifestyle. No plastic on the wings here. Um, lovely, lovely shoe. Actually yet to wear these. These are still DS. There's only a couple in here that are DS. Um, just waiting for a special occasion. I, as you can see, I've relaced them. I just haven't, ha haven't actually worn them outside. Um, but it is the kind of shoe where 
It's not the easiest thing to wear, but for a special occasion, they go hard. Back to, um, apologies again, I'm really gonna get this chair sorted. Back to the flip lid box. Again, the accent colors. So you have the, the gray and then the pale vanilla. Air Jordan 4 Retro SE this time. Proton Dust Pale Vanilla. This is a 12.5. So I did go up half. These are comfortable um, in a 12 and a half. Get the laces done. There you go, Jordan 4 pale, uh, Proton Dust Pale Vanilla. The Craft. Great shoe. Oh, now I'm going to go to what is potentially my favourite ever non-OG. Potentially even my favourite ever. Special edition collaborative box. It says Union. has Jordan's hands on it. Air Jordan 4 Retro SP Guava Ice LT Fusion Red. 12 and I could have and probably should have gone to an 11 and a half on this shoe I find they run a tad big not it's not uncomfortable they're not my foot's not slipping around in them but just for reference if you're going to buy these they cost a pretty penny but you can half size down lovely special edition paper shoe that shouldn't work but it does um, I have undone the tongue. I do not like, I still don't like the tongues down on these unions. Um, and I was part of the brigade who ridiculed these when the pictures first came out. So I am not judging anyone. I've never put the yellow laces in. I way prefer this. The Union Guava Ice. Um, as you can see, they redid the toe box. It's not a typical Jordan 4. And then they filled this in and they stitched the tongue down. It's just an amazing shoe. Um, I'm going to put a, two images here of me wearing them because I did a really good photo shoot in them with, with my lady. Um, nice to have those pictures in here. Back to the OG OG box. Not even back, I think it's the first one. So that when I mentioned one of them is smaller, um, this is the slightly smaller version. I'm trying to see if I have any of the bigger ones down there. No, I think the military blue next year in 20, uh, this year now in 2024 is going to come in that slightly bigger box. Um, hopefully, because it's the OG, the re, like the remastering, not the, um, not the reimagined series, which just comes in like beat up, beat up boxes. The reason that was so difficult to take off is I had to stitch the inside of this box. I bought these used, worn once on eBay, believe it or not, for retail, um, which is insane now that I come to think of it. Um, Air Jordan 4 Retro OG White Fire Red Black Tech Grey in a 12. Probably my, yeah, almost certainly my favourite um, OG. White cement. Nike Air on the back. So this is the 2016 rendition. Again, I don't do jump man on the back when there's a Nike Air available, unless there's lots of things wrong with that Nike Air version. It's slightly stiff to get that box back on, as I said, or that lid. Same reggy deggy box again, but it's time on ceremonies. Air Jordan 4 Retro Black, White, Cool, Grey, PR Platinum. This is an 11.5. I didn't go down because they run big. I went down because I got a really good offer on a really good price on the Fear 4s back in 2018. But I just couldn't, I couldn't turn it down. I think I want to say I paid 200 all in. Um, yeah, 200 to my door. I just couldn't turn it down. So they were 11 and a half. My brother-in-law at the time owned them. So I tried his on and his was 11 and a half because he was half a size smaller than me. His pair fit perfectly. I was like, pull the trigger. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. 
back to the flip lid. This is a DS pair. Again, you can see they've tied the colors of the shoe in. There's your for retro, dark gray, infrared 23 and black. Just haven't had a chance to wear these yet. Size 12, have tried them on. So I think 12 is the best way to go or TTS is the best way to go. Air Jordan 4 Infrared from, I think, again, 2022. I think I also ended up with two pairs of these. But if I have double ups, they're usually for trade and they're usually in a pile somewhere not like out of the cardboard box. They're like in the box, in the cardboard box. So it's hard to keep track of. Okay, OGs again. OG box. OG shoe, Air Jordan 4 Retro, black, fire red, cement gray. You can see the OGs all have the same colors in there. Again, 11.5. Um, I went through a period where I started wearing 11.5 in Jordan 4s. These are not uncomfortable in 11.5 as opposed to a 12. They're just nice and snug. It is the black cement of a bread. That Nike on the booty again. Worn these multiple times. I'll pick up an image here. I also did a, a shoot with a lady friend in those. And if I've forgotten, if I've got good pics in any of these and I've forgotten to point, I'll put pictures in anyway. Okay. Massively special edition box. No surprises what these are. Yeah, loves this color. Um, Air Jordan 4 Retro SP, Violet or Medium Ash Black, 12.5. So I did go in half, half up in these because of sizing advice. The boxes, Ammonia boxes are so good. Um, I went up half because of sizing advice. I have tried these on the only other DS pair. I haven't worn them outside, but I have tried them on, and yes, I need a 12 and a half. They, they do run really snug, and I think it's the quilting. Um, it's, it's weird because my threes are an 11 and a half, and they fit perfectly. These are a 12 and a half, and they also fit perfectly. Beautiful shoe. Also has the Nike Air on the back, and this little um, metal thing here as well. It's a pretty cool touch. I really need to get these worn. Just like life just gets so busy. Regular box. Gonna speed up a little. 11 and a half again. Air Jordan 4 Retro, cool grey, chrome, black charcoal, dark charcoal even. This was a weird box. This was, they started doing these laminated sticker things on there and um, they go yellow almost instantly. Air uh, Jordan 4 Cool Grey in 2019. That's metallic jumpman on the back. Went an 11 and a half in these. These are pretty snug and 11 and a half, I'm not gonna lie up. In hindsight, I probably should have gone with a 12. Probably should have gone TTS, but they're not uncomfortable to wear. They would just be a, a little bit more comfortable. In, in a 12. Um, it's getting tricky down there. Regular box. Air Jordan 4 Retro, white, military blue, neutral gray, size 12. 12 is perfect for these. So this is the 20. 12 retro with the jump man on the back and apparently the wrong shade of blue i'm waiting images up here of for the 2024 i will be 100 percent copying the 2024 pair um, my pair as you can see is definitely pretty worn all the stars are still there though so i should be able to get a decent price for these it's weird the stars are there. I've, I've worn these God knows how many times, but the stars should be gone. I don't know how they're still there. But... Hey ho! Hype Beast pair. Got actually two Hype Beast pairs left. Regular box. So I think they missed a trick here. 
with this. Um, um, Air Jordan 4 University Blue Black, 11 and a half. They fit perfectly. Air Jordan 4 Cactus Jack. And they do have the Cactus Jack on the back here. The wings are going a bit white. I'm getting a weird white colour on the wings, which is a bit odd. Hmm. Haven't opened that box in a few months. Okay. Okay, a couple more to go. And again, this is no particular order, so I'm not saving like the best to last. Special edition flip lid. Air Jordan 4 Retro SE Craft Medium Olive Pale Vanilla 12. Also DS, so I think that's four pairs of DS. Medium Olive Crafts. Reviewed these quite recently, so no need to stand on too much ceremony. Amazing looking shoe. Flip lid action. Air Jordan 4 Retro, white, Midnight Navy. Currently waiting for the Midnight Navy 3s to go on sale. Um, these are 4s, so they didn't go on sale, so I had to pay full price. Basically a navy version of the black, um, of the white cement. Same shoe, just with blue, where there would be black. Um, and a jump man on the back. It's a nice little kind of trade up if I'm wearing either a blue shade or a colour that goes more with a blue shade, less with a black shade, then I'll just wear those instead. So typical like sneakerhead cliche, but it means I beat up my my cement slower. And then final one, weird combination of the bigger OG box that we saw earlier with the white cement, with the fire reds, but has holes in it, like it's some um, Swiss cheese. Um, and then this is the women's Air Jordan 4 Retro SP in sale, muslin, white and black, in the men's 11 and a half. I always find that women's specials run a bit big, so I almost always go down half a size, and why I should have gone down half a size in the guava, because there's also a women's special. So, off-white, um, off-white sales, off-white sale Jordan 4. Prize possession, Nike Air on the back, fully translucent. Um, yeah, they just look amazing, and the materials are also amazing. I, I would say these, the these and the um, and the unions for me are just like the best two John Four collabs that they've done in, in years. So yeah, that is my collection. Um, I forgot how many Jordan Fours I have. Um, really enjoyed making this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed watching it. That's it from me. Over and out.